So we're here at Cinegear at the Panavision stand. Next to me is Michael Sioni, and he's going to talk about something I really, really love. It's this lens, right? It is this lens, the Ultra Vista lens, which is fun because any good story has like a really historic beginning. This lens is conceptually comes from the late 1950s in a format called Ultra Panavision, which which, which ultra widescreen movies, Vista Vision, bigger, Cinerama is where that era came from. And it sort of went away over the years and kind of serendipitously, Quentin Tarantino and Bob Richardson brought it back uh, 18 months ago with The Hateful Eight. And that was shot in Ultra Panavision 70 and it became this 276 to 1 ultra widescreen aspect ratio. Now even those guys, those guys sort of re-pioneered something that previously was around. Well, we don't have that many ultra Panavision 70 film cameras and not everybody can shoot with that. So if anyone knows me, I like democratization. I like to try to get everybody uh, access to the same things. I think that's healthy. So what, we, what uh, Dan Sazaki and his lens team came up with is a way to give the ultra Panavision experience to DXL in a digital world. So this lens creates a custom uh, 276 to 1 widescreen aspect ratio. And now widescreen might say, well, that's just black bars. And it's like, well, no, there's an optical component to this that's very unique because as you get your sensor larger and then as you create squeeze factors, the depth of field changes, the magnification changes, the field of view changes, and the uh, magnification changes, and all of a sudden, these properties start to compound, and the image gets very, very unique. And that's like from a creative side, it makes it more, how would you describe it? What's like the... Dan Restuccio is a writer who said, this reminds me of something I've never seen before. <laughs> so. I don't know if that makes any sense. I, 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 I kind of get the essence. That's what good music does, right? It's like, I, I feel like I've heard this. And that familiarity can be kind of nice. So this is going to feel very familiar in a new way, I think. I hope. I hope. So you tell us, right? So um, why don't we take a look at some pictures, and then we can kind of see. So um, what you're seeing first is this is a 1 9 to 1 aspect ratio. That's the full sensor. Sensor shoots six, uh, 1 9 to 1. When we go to normal anamorphic, it's 2 4 0. Oh. Uh, that's a 6 by 5 or a 1.2 to 1. And then we de squeeze that in anamorphic and we get 2.4, uh, which is normal anamorphic we've been seeing forever. What Ultra Vista does is it takes this and it actually expands it uh, horizontally and vertically in a way, and that gives you even more. So now we're using 91% of the Red Monstro Vista Vision sensor, which is giving us all the magnification. And these lenses now are, you're going to see images that are a 100 mil lens. Everything's shot on a 100 mil, but it has the field of view of a 37 or 39, like right around there. So it's ridiculously wide, even though it is a 100 millimeter. And that's really where it gets exciting. So this is uh, my friend Aubrey, and uh, Aubrey was able to help us out on this preliminary test. And um, you're going to see here, this first image is just kind of amazing, just right there. You're seeing the depth of field, you're seeing the width, but you're also seeing sort of the goopiness that, that kind of gives it that three-dimensionality. Um, and then we take the same lens, 100 millimeter, and we get in for a close-up. And now you actually have more lateral places to place faces, which can change the story, because you have more width to kind of decide, are we going to float in the middle, or are we going to commit to one side and change the story that way? Um, you can see the resolution is really important and really powerful because this is using um, over 30 million pixels inside of an anamorphic image, which is extremely uh, high resolution. So it has a lot of properties there. Here we sort of played with kind of giving you that where she lives in the center or on the edge, and it really changes what a story can do. And it's, it might be subtle to some people, but a lot of people will realize that's different. That's you know? really powerful, yeah. Very powerful. And then, like, it still has all the characteristics of the original lens, right? That's right. It's, it's just yeah. the original. Yeah, that's true. And, 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 it, and it, also shows, um, it also shows how, even in small details, because there's 30 million pixels, you're still resolving little details in the windows. Now watch the background here. This is where that background has that traditional, exclusive Panavision vertical um, 
distortion. So when we do the breathing, there's only vertical breathing, no horizontal. So images have a very unique tall and skinny look which is exclusive to Panavision, and that's kind of one of the properties that people really like. It's very pleasing to the eye. Again, it's subtle, but it's very, very beautiful and very pleasing. And so we tried to shoot all available light. Everything here was just available light, no actual uh, color correction applied. And all the color you're seeing here is right out of the camera. And that's your, that's this is your light magic. Iron color. Right. Light Iron, um, Ian Vertovec is a colorist, and he produced the color matrices, and this is happening right in camera and you can shoot 4K ProRes, and these images come out exactly this way. You're, you're seeing the, the proxy file, essentially. It's basically like shooting on film. It has this kind of same kind of... Yeah, it, it, we, we hope that people feel that way. We give you a 709 choice and then a film choice, um, and you can pick which one you like the most. Um, they, they're built on Red Wide Gamut and Log 3G10, which is Red's new image processing pipeline, and it's just wonderful work that, that Graham and the Red team have done. And then we've just created a little bit more of a Panavision laying a flair to it, right? And when you couple that with the lens, I don't want to knock anyone that's a cinematographer, but this lens makes your stuff look even better. You're already great, but this elevates you. And, and that's what good tools should do, right? Like good tools should elevate you. You can always knock it down. You could always cut out a, a, a four by three image out of this. You could always knock the resolution down or put soft effects on it. But we're giving you something different and new to start with. And then the creative people, it's your job to figure out where to end with, right? So this image you just saw is no filtration, wide open lens, um, and uh, light iron color right out of the camera. And, and that, that's as pure as this image can be. And if you like that image, well, you could do something way better if you start adding in Exactly. all your other stuff and, and that's what it's all about um, we're trying to make a product that's easy to use and available so that if if, if ultra widescreen 276 is fun for you there it is it's real cool thanks very inspiring awesome thanks. cool thanks guys Cheers, man.